This video is to demonstrate how to use your lateral flow device for asymptomatic testing. Testing of people who show no symptoms of COVID-19. People with COVID-19 infection who are asymptomatic can still spread the virus. Through testing, we aim to identify asymptomatic individuals at the earliest opportunity to help protect families and communities. Testing is part of a range of measures to help reduce the risk of COVID-19. If you have symptoms of COVID-19, a new continuous cough, a high temperature, or a loss or change in your sense of smell or taste, do not proceed with this test. Instead, you must self-isolate and arrange a PCR test at your local testing centre or by post via gov.uk slash get coronavirus test. Read the instructions for use that come with your kit before you start, as they may vary slightly to what we're showing you here. Remember, don't eat or drink 30 minutes before taking the test. You need to swab both your throat and your nose. If you've had a nose bleed in the last 24 hours, swab the other nostril or wait 24 hours. If you have a nose piercing, swab the other nostril. If you have a piercing on both sides, remove the piercing on the side you are going to swab. Clean and dry a flat surface and wash your hands or use hand sanitizer before you start. Once you have removed the test strip from its packet, start the test within 30 minutes. Now carefully open the extraction buffer sachet. Open the extraction tube and pour in all the fluid. Close the cap and put the extraction tube in the holder. Blow your nose and wash or sanitize your hands again. Remove the swab from the packet. Do not touch the soft part of the swab. Open your mouth wide and rub the fabric tip over both tonsils or where they would have been if you'd had them removed. Do this four times on each side. Most people find this a bit uncomfortable and that is totally normal. Now using the same swab, insert it up your nostril until you feel resistance. Rotate the swab in your nostril 10 times. It's really important the fabric tip doesn't touch anything apart from the inside of your throat and nose. Now pick up the extraction tube, open the lid and place the fabric tip of the swab in the fluid in the tube. Firmly press the swab against the bottom of the tube and rotate it around for 15 seconds. It's important to mix thoroughly. Pinch the tube as you remove the swab and put the nozzle cap on. Squeeze the extraction tube to place two drops of fluid on the test strip. Watch out for any air bubbles. Set a timer for 30 minutes and leave the test strip on a clean, flat surface. At 30 minutes, you will see a result on the test strip. You must read your result at 30 minutes and no later. If there is one line next to C and no line next to T, your test is negative. However, you must continue to follow all other guidance in place to help protect you. If you have two lines, one next to C and one next to T, your test is positive. You and your household must self-isolate immediately. And once you have registered your result online, you must book a confirmatory PCR test as soon as possible via gov.uk slash get coronavirus test. A contact tracer from Test and Protect will call you after registering your positive result and they will give you advice about what you need to do, including around self-isolation. They will also contact your close contacts and provide further information, including requesting them to self-isolate. If there is one line next to T and no line next to C or no lines, your test is void and you'll need to retake the test. Make sure you read the instructions carefully you must report your result to the NHS via gov.uk slash report COVID-19 result, whether it is positive, negative or void. This allows the NHS to monitor the spread of the virus and help protect your contacts and your community. Once your test is complete, place all used test kit contents in the waste bag provided and place this in your bin. 